So here I am again. I've made, been making so many videos that my my heart is, was actually full, so it stopped. Yeah, but we're still doing bearings, so I apologize for that. And we're going to continue. We've just finished the question, the bearing of B from A, where we said that's 150 degrees. So moving on now, angle ABC. Let's have a look. Angle ABC. So we're talking about the angle over here. I'm going to take a separate piece of paper again. Um, because there's so much information there, isn't there? So, this A, a B, C, let's put theta or theta sign there. Uh, we know this one is 16, we know this one is 60 degrees, and that one is 15. Okay, so if I have to find that angle, um, yeah, trigonometry, yeah. However, it's not a right angle triangle, so I cannot just use the sine or the cosine or the tangent. But we have other strategies, so no worries for that. We have the sine rule, for instance. I have its teammate, but I need a full team to be able to apply the sine rule. And I have a full team. Fantastic. Yeah? So it's a sine rule, yeah? Nothing to worry about. I'll start with my unknown, because that makes the rearranging at the end easier. So I'm going to say the sine of theta, or the sine of x, or the sine of a, or the sine of b, whatever you call it, over his teammate, or her teammate, equals the sine of 60 degree, degrees over his teammate, okay? So the sine of theta equals then 16 times the sine of 60 degrees over 15. So make sure you've seen my videos on the sine rule where I also explain why I want that unknown in the numerator, yeah? Just makes life a lot easier, okay? Sine of 16 equals, divided by 15 equals, times 16 equals, Make sure you are able to use a calculator. I know quite a few of you aren't. It's going to give me this answer, yeah? And to a decimal that is 0 0.92 and a lot more decimals. However, that's the sine of theta. So you have to do the inverse, eh? You have to do shifts in to find the actual angle. Yeah, so that's why I didn't write down all those decimals, yeah? Yeah, so your angle equals shift sine of that answer. 67.4821764 yeah and if i just put that down here so that is 67.5 degrees yeah one decimal place for an angle all right 67.5 but i wrote down all those decimals because maybe i'm not sure but maybe i'm still going to need that in the near future okay so grabbing my Drawing 67, I'm just going to put that here, 67.5 degrees. All right, where are the questions? Here we go. The next question is, what is the length of AB? So the length of AB, okay. Well, several ways I can do that. Um, uh, yeah, can you decide on, the, on an appropriate way? Oh, I just drew that one, didn't I? Here, the length of AB. So I'm putting an X here now. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm going to do that with uh, just an ordinary sign rule. Yeah. I think that's the easiest for you now to have yeah, for me to show you how to do it, because we know that this one is 67.5. So if I want to find x, I need to know his teammate. Yeah. An angle BCA. So that's the teammate angle. Yeah. Equals. 180 minus 60 minus this angle. Yeah, agree? But I'm going to use all those decimals for that just because I want to be precise in my workings. Yeah, so grab my calculator 180 minus 60 minus 67.4821764. Okay, that is 52.5178253. All right. So if I have to find the length of AB, yeah, I do x over. So the length over the sine of his teammate, which is this number, which I'm going to say is sine of c. Is that all right? Yeah, because I don't want to write down all those decimals. Yeah, but that equals. I have a full team because I've just used it. 
But now I started with a length, I'm going to start with a length again, 15 over the sine of 60. Yeah? So x equals 15 divided by the sine of 60 times the sine of angle C. And I'm going to grab my calculator now and I'm going to put it in that 15 divided by the sine of 16 equals, and I'm going to times that by the sine of 52.5178, that's the value indeed, 2536 equals, and it's going to give me the answer of 13.74456265, and that to three significant figures, three significant figures, 13.7, and we are talking about kilometers, all right? So that would be the answer for that question. Yeah, so I use a sign rule, and I realize if I want to find X, I need his teammate angle. I don't have it yet. However, in a triangle, 180 degrees, take away the other two angles, and I have his teammate angle. Okay, moving on quickly, I believe, to the last question, which is the area of the park. Yeah, what is the area of the park? Well, the area of the park, so that is this, yeah. Now, hopefully you realize those are two triangles. Yeah, because this is a quadrilateral, but it's not a rectangle or a parallelogram or a trapezium, no. So I don't have a, a formula ready for that, but two triangles. Yeah, let me put a big Roman one here and a Roman two there, just to structure my workings. Yeah, well the area of a triangle, we know is base times height divided by two, but we have also learned that it's a half AB sine of C, capital C, yeah? Make sure you've seen my previous videos. Yeah? Everything comes together in this bearings question, yeah? Beautiful question. Well, let's have a look at the first one. I know this is 55 degrees, so I can say a half times eight times 16, yeah? Make sure sine of 55, that the angle you're using cannot be the teammate of any of those two lengths, yeah? Again, I've explained that in one of my previous videos. So that is a half times eight times 16 times the sine of 55 equals 52.4257383. I do the same thing for my other triangle, have a b sine of c i'm rushing things a little bit now i have what do i have well you can use several things yeah i know this one is 16 but then i have to do a uh, sort of 60 degrees but then this is my a and that is my b careful eh? because they cannot be a teammate so i have times a so that's times 16 times B, and that length we have calculated, and now I've got to look for that one, 13.7, um, we've said. So times 13.7, I'm just going to use all those decimals, 4, 4, 5, 6, 2, 6, 5, okay, times the sine of 60, sine of 60 degrees, equals... Oh dear, so that's a half times 16 times 13.74456265 times the sine of 60 degrees equals 95.22512335. Okay, what I just want to say again is for that second triangle, I have said A times B times the sine of 60 divided by 2 and to find the area. You also could have done 15 times 16 times the sine of this angle, uh, because we found that angle as well, divided by 2. Or you could have done 15 times this length times the sine of 67.5 divided by 2. So all sorts of options, as long as you distinguish that the angle yeah, cannot be the teammate of one of those two lengths when we're talking about finding the area of a triangle. All right. Now, they wanted to find the area of the total park. I'm not finished yet because what is the total area? Well, that's going to be the area of one and two combined. So one plus two. So 95 in all those decimals plus 
four two five seven three zero oh, eight three equals I'm going to round it to three significant figures straight away 148 kilometers squared good I hope that was useful bearings involves a lot of sine rules cosine rules uh, area of triangles yeah so they can really give it all to you so I hope that was useful leave me a message if you have any further questions and I will help you as soon as possible have a good day